Okay. So that time will be good. <laughs> I know. Yeah, that's, that's it. Hey, you know what's going on? Yeah. Okay, Bob Boyd, you've got a lot of young players to work into your system this year. How has practice gone thus far? Well, as a, you know, we've practiced about a month now, and I think that uh, for the most part, our practices have been good and quite involved by all players. Uh, we've had a number of minor injuries, which are nothing like we've had last year, a real serious type. But I mean, the aches and pains, and we've also had a, a number of days missed by some players because of flu, which disrupts the normal flow of practice. But I really think as a, as a whole, it's been a good, a good practice session so far. There's no reason to expect them not to repeat as Pac-8 champions. How strong are you as contenders in this respect? Well, I think that we can be a very good team by the end of the year. I, I think we may have some difficulties in December. We have a number of tough games in December. But I think uh, that our team will be a very fine team before the end of the year, and, uh, and we'd like to consider ourselves a contender. Now, you have your son playing for you this year. Is this uh, an unusual situation? Does it pose any problems? UCLA, USC, who else looks tough? Well... Tom, uh, there's a, some new faces in our conference. Uh, Dick Carter at Oregon is going to improve his team. His team didn't win a game last year. Mm -hmm. And uh, Dick is just an outstanding coach and works very hard at it. He's got some young kids up there now, some freshmen even, who are going to start for him. Um, I think George Raveling of Washington State is going to really do a great job up there at Washington State. He's an aggressive recruiter and knows the game real well. And, uh, but I think uh, the, the other team, if we could be considered a contender, then I think the other team would have to be Oregon State. Mm -hmm. uh, Ralph Miller only lost Freddie Boyd, and he has a great front line with a number of good guards. And along with Marv Harshman at Washington, I would think those are the teams. Well, Bob, have a good season. I hope that you bring your young players around, work them into the season and into the system, and everything goes well for the Trojans this year. Well, thank you very much, Tommy. Thank you. All right. Bill Boyd, your sophomore year at the University of Southern California. How is preseason practice going? I think real good so far, Tom. Uh, myself and uh, the rest of the sophomores, uh, we're starting to feel more a part of, of uh, those guys that were returned from last year. And uh, I think we're more of a, a team now. I think we're really coming together. Now, Bill, I don't know if it's a complication or a problem or not, but you're playing for your dad, uh, Bob Boyd. Uh, was it a tough decision to make to come to USC knowing that your father is head coach? You, you're pretty big up front. You've got a lot of signs. Yeah, we do. Uh, Mike Westra, 6'11", and, and John Lambert and uh, Clinton Chapman uh, have a pretty big front line. What are your hopes for starting as a sophomore? Well, uh, I'd like to work my way into at least the top three forwards and uh, that way possibly getting a lot of playing time in. So what would you say are your strong points as a basketball player? Well, you know, because uh, uh, I don't have great size and I don't have a great leaping ability, I, I try to work on uh, just the basic fundamentals, the, the shooting, uh, you know, the blocking off, the, the, those types of things involved, and just try to be an all-around player. They say that you're a tenacious defender. Well, a defense is probably the, one of the better things that I can work on since, you know, it doesn't take a great leaping and doesn't take, you know, a lot of that stuff. So I, I do try to work on it pretty hard. So in this rebuilding year, you're optimistic for the Trojans? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I look for a good season for us. Bill, good luck to you. Have a good season, and thank you. Thank you very much. Mike Wester, you'll take over as starting center for the USC Trojans this year. How has practice gone so far? It's going pretty well. It seems like all right. Are you using a single post offense, or will you go into a high-low situation? Uh, we're ma using mainly a single post. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's looking pretty well. When, uh, we're working on execution right now, trying to get everything down real good in the offense. No, you only have two returning starters from last year's team. Yeah, Danny Anderson and myself. And uh, we have a lot of sophomores uh, coming up from the freshman team that did real well last year, so we're expecting a lot of good things from them. You'll be chasing UCLA again. How do you feel about it? Well, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, it's always uh, a real thrill to play UCLA and try to go for it. Okay. The Keller Weird basketball practice, and you are 5'6", and you're here for the USC varsity. How is it at 5'6", playing basketball, especially today with all of the Giants around? Well, I try to, you know, break up zones, zones, presses, man-to-man -man type defenses, and go through the middle and pitch it off for a short jump shot or something like that or score myself. Now, what's your background? I understand you transferred here from southern Idaho? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, where are you from originally? New York City. New York City, and you went to southern Idaho how long? For two years. And now with the USC Trojans, you expect to get a lot of playing time this year, do you? Oh, yeah, quite a bit, mm -hmm. quite a bit.
Well, Vic, we'll be watching you out there because we champion the little man. We like to see him get out there and do his thing. And it's nice to have you here, and good luck to you this season. Thank you very much. You got it? Vic Burrell, how is the guard situation with the USC Trojans this year? Uh, it looks good now. Like, we have me, Dan, Gus, and Vic, and, and he'll probably start uh, start Dan and me, Gus, and Vic will rotate so, so he have enough strength, you know, for backup. Now, you're going to be chasing UCLA again. That's a team to beat in the back eight. Yes, we will be chasing hard. What have you done in practice thus far? Uh, well, so far we've worked on presses mm -hmm. for uh, the Bruin game. And our offense, uh, I say we have more, more or less a freelance thing, like just come down, pass, pass, and then shoot. Mm -hmm. and fast break mostly. Just run, press, and fast break. Do you feel that you're stronger offensively or defensively? I feel a little bit stronger offensively. Mm -hmm. well, Biff, good luck to you this year. Okay, thank you. All right. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you're on. Danny Anderson, you'll probably be the starting guard out there and running the offense. How do you look this year? How do you feel that the Trojans look? Well, I, have to, I guess I'm kind of the team leader. I'm one of the older guys on the team. There's not too many seniors on the team. I have to you know, direct them and you know, keep them going right on the floor all the times, I guess. Is your forte offense or defense, or do you have a balance between the two? I have to have a balance between the two. Mm -hmm. and you won't play on this team unless you can do both. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Boyd won't let you play if you're just all offense, and you probably won't play if you're just all defense either. So you expect the USC Trojans to challenge the Bruins over at UCLA for the Packers well, Championship? We'll, I think we'll give them a good game. But well, Danny, I hope so, and you have a good season. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay, Monroe Nash, it certainly is good to see you back out here. You had a lot of problems last year. Tell me about your back surgery. Oh, yes, I did have quite a few. I think I had my share and a few others. I had uh, a laminectomy, a back surgery, which uh, is the, what they perform for a ruptured disc. Mm -hmm. And I had uh, two of those in less than a year's time mm -hmm. and causing me to uh, sit out this past season. Uh, which would have been my senior year. So I'm fortunate and happy to be back this year. Now, how is your back this year? Any problems? I haven't had any uh, problems thus far. Uh, we consider it uh, healed by now. You know, it's, it's had time. It's had a, a year to, uh, to heal, which I didn't give it the first time. Mm -hmm. Now, what is your role? I like to drive mm -hmm. inside and uh, do a little hooking. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> Well, listen, do you see good things for the Trojans this year? I certainly do, and I don't think the public is quite aware of all the material that we have and the potential that we could mm -hmm. uh, come up with this year. I think we're going to have a promising season, and also it's going to be a start of uh, some tradition because these guys are young and they'll be here a while. Well, Monroe, it's good to see you back and have a good season. Thank you very much, Tom. Thank you.
Yeah.